We're kicking off the newest section on our website. It's called Good. It's all about doing good and feeling good. And today we're going to show you how to do both. You're going to get to drink wine and support dog organizations all around the country. It is the Dog Lovers Wine Club. How cool is that? We love this. We can't wait to tell you more about it. Fleet Hamilton, one of the co-founders, is going to join us and he's going to tell us all about it. He's got some great deals for you, great ways to buy wine and again to support these organizations. Fleet Hamilton, co-founder of the Dog Lovers Wine Club. And I should also say that Bandit, Fleet's dog, is with us. So you might hear him uh, barking up a storm a little bit later. He's excited about the wine. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, tell me, Dog Lovers Wine Club, how did you come up with this idea? I think it's fantastic. Well, my, my partner Matt Hahn and I were looking for a way to make a living and uh, give back to the community uh, at the same time. So we came up with Dog Lovers Wine Club. Uh, it's uh, it's great wine, so people can buy the wine and enjoy it, have a really good time with it, and they can also feel good about it because part of the proceeds uh, on every sale go back to local humane societies, SBCAs, uh, dog rescue uh, organizations all around the country. So a really great way to do good while feeling good, which is perfect. <laughs> it's a new section on the website. So I want to ask you about the name of your winery because my understanding is it means both wine and charity. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that. Yeah, the name of the winery is Caravintas Winery. And Caravintas. It's, uh, yes, and it's, uh, it's the, the Latin word caritas, which means uh, charity or to give. And then the word vin, of course, in French means wine. So we blend wine with charity. So we came up with Caravin Toss. Let's talk a little bit about how this works, the actual contribution to the dog organizations around the country. Okay. The, well, there's a, there are several ways. The, the first way is that uh, a minimum of 10% of our proceeds go to support these, these shelters. That's great. 10% is a pretty good amount of money. Yeah, it, yeah, it can be. In fact, over the last uh, 18 months, it's been uh, we're well over thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars that we've given to uh, shelters around the country. Okay, so the um, wine club, you have three different levels that people could sign up for, and it's one bottle each time. Is that how it works? Tell us. Actually, actually, it's uh, it's either two or three bottles each time, okay. and we have uh, three different clubs: uh, monthly, bi-monthly, and quarterly clubs. Okay. Um, and they're appropriately named after dog things. Bow Wow Wow Club is monthly, um, the lounging <laughs> pup is bi-monthly, and then the... Uh, lounging pup. Yeah. Okay. And then the laughing pooch is the quarterly club. Okay. And so <laughs> the, the monthly and bi-monthly clubs come with two bottles each, and then the quarterly is three bottles uh, each time. To tie you over, because it's only quarterly. Well, you don't want to... You need at least three to right, tie you over. Right. You don't want to run out of wine. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the wine that you make. And, and actually, let's talk about the labels, because these labels are adorable. I'm going to actually hold a few of these up, and I know we'll get some close-ups, but these... I mean, look at this. This is Lucky. He's a little lab. This is what my dog looked like when he was a baby. Um, all different dogs on here. And there's actually a story, which is a story, behind these labels. Behind each one. In fact, this one, Lucky, this is a, this was a custom label. We also do, we have the wine clubs, but we also do custom label programs. So you can go to our website and order a single bottle if you want of custom labeled wine, either with a photo or a digital painting. So the viewers and could actually send you a photo and then they could get back a bottle of wine exactly. with their beloved Exactly. Pooch on there. Yeah, that or, cool. or whatever else you want. It's, it's <laughs> custom. We can do anything. Very great. Um, and then the other labels that are on the monthly bottles, how does that work? Well, what we do, what we do for all these is uh, we, our members and other people, um, submit uh, photographs and stories about their dogs. And all the dogs on the labels are dogs that have been rescued from an SPCA or Humane Society, Aww. something like that. Uh, so they all have really touching stories. Some are just unbelievably awesome, like this one here, this Ripley. Um, this dog, it was, he was rescued from a, uh, from a humane society, and uh, he was an odd dog. He had a fetish for baseballs. That's why uh, this was our October wine you know, oh, for baseball perfect. season. And uh, Ripley, over the time of his life, he collected over 300 baseballs. And he, so he just had this pile of them in his backyard because they lived near a little league field. So oh, he would go uh, rob dog. those poor kids of their... Uh, of their little league baseballs. And you're actually making your own wines and then oftentimes you have a guest winemaker, is that correct? Yes, yeah, we, we make our own wines and then we have a guest wine, winemaker program where we work with winemakers from other local wineries. Well, actually wineries all over the state of California. Um, we look for up and coming uh, award winning winemakers um, and try to get them to uh, come up with something that they wouldn't do at their normal home winery. Uh, 
and they love that too because uh, we get a lot more variety in our wines, uh, which is great for our customers, of course. Sure, get, uh, yeah. Lots of different flavors, and uh, the guest winemakers get to do something that they couldn't really do at their own winery. Tell us about the winemaking process and the different uh, varietals that people might expect in the mail. Okay, we we try to produce uh, ten reds and two whites every year, so there's twelve wines total, and every once in a while we throw in a special one. Um, we've 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 had uh, Dolcetto. Pinot Noir, Merlot, uh, Syrah, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, um, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. It's a really we, good mix. Yeah, we try to mix it up a lot. Uh, we, that's part of the idea of the club is we want people to try a uh, we want people to try a variety of wines and not just stick with their their you know their standard favorite. Let's talk about Yappy Hour. That is Yappy Y A P P Y. How does that work, and how can people do that um, who might be watching the show right now? Well, we have a program called our Yappy Hour Wine Tasting Program, and that is a a, a way for um, anyone at their home or at their business, wherever they would like, to host what we call a Yappy Hour. So it's a happy hour with wine, and what we do there is we have a specialized uh, wine tasting kit. That will that we sell at an extremely discounted price to get people to taste the wine. So you would actually send, if it was me, that wine tasting kit, and I'd have all that information right there. Exactly, it has, and it comes it comes with uh, either four or six bottles of wine, information about the wine, um, instructions on how to conduct a wine tasting, wine notes so you can talk about the individual characteristics of each wine. Uh, and then a few other things like uh, some wine aroma wheels and things like that so you can actually learn how to wine taste. And you'll set up the viewers then to come across as the wine expert and to really exactly. impress their friends and hold an event that raises money, mm -hmm. you can tell us that component of it, um, but is enjoyable because somebody is really knowledgeable on site and able to answer questions. Yeah, yeah. in fact it's, uh, yeah, again, the, the, the same uh, profit goes back to the, the shelters and then also the uh, um, the host or hostess as well um, can get gifts. It's kind of like a multi-level marketing program, like a, like a Tupperware, um, where the host actually will get uh, for each person they sign up, for instance, for a wine club, they'll get a gift certificate that is good towards anything on our site, including wine club memberships or wine, anything they want. So now we have wine, a good cause, and gifts. How great is this? <laughs> Well, as always, six minute goes by way too fast. I want to thank Fleet for joining me today and f thank Bandit, who's cruising around the property looking for biscuits, I think. Any last thoughts um, for viewers out there who might want to get involved with the Dog Lovers Wine Club? Uh, yes, uh, from the link from, uh, from the six minute uh, style website to the Dog Lovers uh, Wine Club website, um, if you take that link and buy something from us, uh, we're going to give uh, everyone who uh, participates a 10% discount. So. Fantastic, so 10% off any wine. So now you get to have a discount on doing good and feeling good. I love it. And as Fleet said, we will indeed have a link on the 6 Minute Style website. That is 6minutestyle.com. Go ahead and check it out. We'll get you set up with all the information you need. I want to thank you for joining us again. We will see you next time on 6 Minute Style. One thing that comes with each of uh, the bottles that's mailed out are these wine and canine notes. Tell us a little bit about these, because I think this is a great idea. Yeah, the wine and canine notes have, of course, notes about the wine, um, notes about how it's, uh, you know, what, what variety it is, how it, how it tastes, you know, some of the overall flavors. It also has a uh, section on tips about how to take care of your dog, you know, depending upon what season it is, etc. Oh, good stuff. Very good. Um, always includes a, a nice art print, you know, of the, of the label. So for collecting, or, you know, some people yeah. like to collect them. Um, a brief section about uh, about you know the the dogs that's on the label, where they came from, what if they were rescued, what you know how their life was before, and then how it is with their current family. Okay, like um, this dog for example, Georgia was rescued from Rover Rescue. Um, so very interesting. You get a little bit of background, a little bit of story, so you yeah, feel good very, when you're sipping personal. the wine. It's very yeah, personal. It's lovely. Uh, and then and then there's a section in uh, in it. It's called about off the leash. Off the um, leash. Yeah. And one which of our, is, what band yeah, which is, right yeah, exactly. I'm gonna give him a snack while yeah, you keep plan. talking. <laughs> uh, off the leash, off the leash is an interview by uh, by Angelou, who is uh, who is one of our members' dogs. So the uh, dog does the interview. The dog does the interview. And Fantastic. It, and, uh, and so it's a kind of a tongue-in-cheek uh, section <laughs> from a dog's perspective. Is this how the yappy hours go? <laughs> well, He's a little yappier than usual, isn't he? A little Bandit. happier. Good. Well, he's showing off for the camera. Well, this is great. So when you get your wine, you get these wine and canine notes. You get your great wine. And again, a good cause. Exactly. This is fantastic. Cheers to the dogs. To the dogs. To Bandit.